Hello, everybody. Happy Monday, July 5th. This weekend in America was Independence Day. So we were celebrating, um, you know, our freedoms. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. <laughs> because this past year has not felt like any place anybody has had any freedom. We've been like kind of at the whim of whatever is going on outside of us. But all of that is about to change because today, do, 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 I'm bringing back predictions, worldwide predictions. Okay, I've done this before and um, they've been pretty spot on. So some of the things I'm going to say before I do my predictions, predictions. <laughs> Oh, God, I crack me up. I hope I crack you up. Because <laughs> um, it would be sad if I'm sitting here laughing and nobody else is laughing. Okay. Okay, with all seriousness, with, with every ounce of love in my heart, there are a few things I want to say. I want to thank Rude Rangers TV for streaming this show. Choo, choo, choo on all of their stations and podcasts, WSCS for sharing on their station. I'm so blessed. You know, life has a way of, when you're in that place, life can show you the best of everything. Life can just show you everything that's good and beautiful. And um, when you stay with that flow, it just, it keeps growing. Like you just, you know, it's good. Okay. Um, if you are watching on WSCS or one of the other stations, please know that um, at the 30 minute mark, the show will end on WSCS and possibly some of the other stations that I'm being aired on TV stations. YouTube will just keep flying right through it. Yes, we will. Um, but <clears throat> if you are listening on to a, on, on, on to a, on a station where it cuts at that 30 minute mark, please go to YouTube and you can finish watching on YouTube. You can watch on Rude Rangers app, the Rude Rangers app or Rude Rangers TV or any, like I am streamed on not, well, the show. The show is streamed on a number of um, streaming stations, Roku, Amazon, and, um, well, those are the only two I can remember right now, but there are other ones. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so today I'm being prompted to bring back predictions just because, um, well, because I am... So some of the things that I've predicted in the past as far as <clears throat> worldwide events have happened, they don't always hit the news because, well, not everything hits the news that is supposed to. But let me um, just say, I'm getting that Indonesia, Malaysia, it, there are going to be some, there's going to be a um, some casualties there. Indonesia, Malaysia casualties. This is going to be a natural, like a, a natural disaster. So please, um, you know, it's, I always, when I do this, I hope my predictions are wrong, but these are warnings to people to pay attention. These are warnings to maybe uh, be in the right place at the right time or to not be in the wrong place at the wrong time. I feel like what's coming in in Indonesia and or Malaysia, um, and excuse me for saying this, I don't know if those are the same place, but I keep hearing them together. So um, yes, and I did take geography three times. I do not think the fourth time is gonna be the charm for me. Not taking geography again. Um, what I wanna say is one of them is again, uh, it's something to do with water and water coming in high and fast. And the other disaster, but it has to do with something that has been happening at home. Um, I see buildings, buildings going down. Now it could be a natural disaster because it could be an earthquake. 
Okay. But I don't see just one building going down. I see buildings going down and that's Indonesia, Malaysia. Okay. The next thing is a little closer to home. Um, I said this before on my show, I'm going to say it again, and I'm not uh, going to get into too much detail. These are basic uh, messages without a lot of specific content. Uh, the next message is that, uh, that there are going to be closer to home. Um, God, they're coming in so fast. I can't even keep up with them in my head. And I keep saying, do you really want me to say that? Do you really want me to say that? And they're like, say it. <laughs> um, closer to home, we are going to have a lot of knowings. Thank you. Perfect word. Knowings coming out. Um, for those of you who are paying attention and watching the right outlets, uh, you're going to start to see a lot of things coming to light that uh, previously were not allowed to come to light is the best way I can say that. Um, and this is really important. This is one thing that's really important that they want me to make sure I let you know. There have been some tragic things that have happened recently in Florida and California and California I'm, and Florida. I'm so sorry. I, I'm sending prayers to your families. Here's the thing. Sometimes what looks like an accident or is blamed on one thing is actually a pre-orchestrated event to hide, to hide something or to do something. For whatever that's worth, just follow the chain, follow the information. For example, a couple of months back, there was a bombing I think in, in one of the states in the US and um, they made a big deal out of this bombing and it took down a building. But what they didn't make a big deal out of was the fact that that was the building that held all the polling or a great deal of the polling information for our past election. Oh, details, right? Who needs that detail? a lot of people still don't even realize that that was the case. The building that went down had so much evidence in it. Yeah. Let's suck on that lollipop for a moment and see how that makes us feel. Mm, does it give us the soft and fuzzies? Not so much. They're not as slick as they think they are. They just have a really good way of hiding information. And on to better news. Okay, so we are going to see a lot of things coming to light that some of the things we don't want to know, some of the things we have no choice but to know. They're coming to light. Pay attention, folks. If you don't get it the first time, you're going to end up getting it the second time. If you do not listen to the information being given to you, they will find a way. They will wake you up in your sleep to... They will wake you up in your sleep to tell you what you need to know. Yeah, they will. And even if it's not clear to you in that moment, it will be clear to you. It will be clear to you. Okay. Let's move on. I am going to be taking callers today. If you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Yepers, that's the number. <laughs> and I will be answering uh, questions on, I love you too, Jennifer, Mwah! on YouTube. Like I'm live streaming on YouTube. So if you ever want to watch this as it unfolds, oh my God, just go to YouTube. Um yeah, and there's a chat section, so you can choo 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 your question in the chat section. Um, so Jennifer, I love you, Genevieve. I love you too, Genevieve. Thank you for the amazing video um, that you sent me this weekend from um, 
Genevieve, as many of my listeners know, is in Canada. She was able to go see beluga whales this past weekend and where there are dolphins. And um, Genevieve, can you please put in the chat where where you were that you were able to see that? Because there are some people that might want to go. And I, I think I want to go. I think I want to make a trip to Canada to, to see that. Um, I have a really good friend in Canada who is the uh, producer of a TV station. I think I will reach out to them and see. I, You know, sometimes it's just time to reconnect with old friends and say hi and do things with them. Anyway, so Genevieve, thank you so much. Okay, now I'm going to go to my callers and I am going to... Um, Take my callers. When I call your area code, please take me off of speaker. First and foremost, nobody wants to hear your background noise. Actually, the truth of the matter is that um, I'm already on speakerphone because I have this great one woman show going on here. <laughs> so everything is done as simplistically as possible. So I have um, my phone on speaker and then I go back and forth between my screens. So if you're on speaker, I'm on speaker, the quality for the TV shows is just not that awesome. So please go off of speaker and um, have your question and or connection ready. Um, okay, just one more message in for for the for the. Uh, Two, two more messages for the for everybody for worldwide and I do I have a ton of listeners outside of the US for Israel um, Australia I'm, I'm uh, Japan I have listeners from all over the world so it's it's always so humbling to me when I look at my statistics of where my listeners and watchers are and I just love that so if you are, on YouTube, uh, just pop your name and where you're, you're, um, where you're from. I'll give you a shout out if you want me to. Okay, Genevieve went to uh, Tudasak. Tudasak, Quebec, is where she was watching the beluga whales this weekend. Tudasak. T I'm gonna just spell it for you people because for for everybody because well I don't think I'm pronouncing it correctly. T A D O U S S A C Quebec. But if you uh, if you look that up, I'm sure you will find it. it and it was the video was gorgeous. Thank you for sharing, Genevieve and Jennifer. Thank you so much for um, for giving me love. I'm giving you love back. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, the predictions for the U.S. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> okay, um, we're not going to hear about it at first, but there are going to be a tremendous number of lawsuits. I have said this in the past. I'm saying it again. These lawsuits are going to be of a civil nature and these lawsuits are going to go to administrators. Now, when they say administrators, they mean people who have administered things. I know what they mean. I'm making my monkey face on that. Like a monkey. <laughs> I know what they mean. Um, they're talking about if you can't for example, if you can't sue a pharmaceutical company for doing you harm, the people who administered the shot, for example, that knew the shot was harmful, well, they can be held liable. It's just that simple, folks. According to them, it is. Yes, it is. I'm here to give this all day long. I'm here. I'm, I, I'm here every Monday. Don't you love this? This is uh, okay. The next thing is that. Um, okay, so the lawsuits, and um, we are going to see our judicial systems changing exponentially over the next three years. But over the next six months, this is going to start to happen with. Uh, rapid succession, we're going to see a lot of people um, in powerful positions uh, passing away. Um, 
who yeah i'm not going to even tell you what i saw on that because we can put those pieces together ourselves we are going to start to have um Again, a lot of epiphanies, a lot of knowings coming in. For those of you on the Gulf of California, on the coast, coast, thank you for the correction, of California, please um, be careful. Be careful on the coast of California. Whew, now I'm going to go to callers. I'm going to take my first caller, and my first caller today is caller 205. Zero five. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Thank you so much for taking my call. Um, my name is Patricia. I'm calling from Alabama. And um, I know that I've discussed this, this person with you before. His name is Reginald. It's been maybe a couple of years ago. He's an ex. Um, it's been um, maybe three and a half years ago since um, we were... Um, in a relationship, but he phoned me, um, about, it's been less than a week ago, I hadn't heard from him in almost a year, and, um, um, and, and probably since I, uh, another reason why is because I've had a couple of new phones, so I've blocked his number and all of that, and once you buy a new phone, you don't have all of that stuff put in place, but I just assumed that he had moved on, and I want to know, um, um, my question today is um, why um, why is he calling? And do you see him finally moving on? Okay. Um, yes. Okay. So your your phone is a little bit froggy. So I'm going to tell everybody in a quick with a quickness what you just basically said. I'm going to repeat it for those who may not have um, heard it clearly. Your ex of many years is reaching out again after you have blocked him and you want to know um, if, if he's going to move on. Uh, he, first of all, he's coming back for a come up. You know, sometimes when you've dated somebody in the past and you made them feel really good, you were very genuine with them. You gave them love. You, you showed up. You just showed up as with every ounce of integrity and love that you had. Um, and then when it's over, uh, when they, they move on to what they think is better, oh, look, the grass is so green over here. No, honey, that was, that was artificial turf, sweetie. That wasn't grass. <laughs> that was some mother effing artificial turf that did to you what you just did to me. Oh, Rally deuces. Um, what what happens is after they have their letdown, they want to go back to the person that made them feel good, the person that was genuine and really loved them, and get that come up again, get that love again, feel good about themselves again. But it's very selfish. It's very self motivated. And so, what I want to say to you is, don't even. Um, now, again, I'm not the boss of anybody. Everybody has free will to handle any situation in their own way. But what your angels are saying to you is, girl, you know you better than this. <laughs> you know you <laughs> you took out the trash. <laughs> Don't bring it back in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No way I will. And right. Yeah, I've, I've blocked the number again on the new phone. Yes, good for you. And you know, we as women, sometimes we have this thing that says, you know, we have so much empathy and caring and we want to be like, are they okay? Or maybe they've changed. But if they have changed, God bless you and go take those changes to somebody new because there's just too much that has happened. And here's, I always say, once you know the truth, you can't unknow the truth. You can't undo the damage, right? You can't, you can't yeah. ever like uncheat on somebody. <laughs> Listen, your Willie did the Wonka right. in another chocolate factory. You can't undo that. Okay. 
<laughs> you just can't. <laughs> so now let your willy go okay, do the sorry. Wonka in whatever chocolate factory you want your willy to Wonka in. <laughs> Jesus, Moses and Mary, where are they coming up with this Willy Wonka? Do I have to like, oh my God, I cannot even believe that's what I'm saying. Okay, if your Willy wants to Wonka in another chocolate factory, you go Willy Wonka in another chocolate factory. But you know what? My chocolate factory has another willy doing the wonka in it <laughs> and it, it is <laughs> okay we're gonna just stop talking about the willy wonka and the chocolate factory right now <laughs> like sometimes i wonder what angel is bringing this information through okay so love here's what i want to tell you really quick but i'm going to tell you you know people always say this just sounds like common sense and logic what do you expect the angels to sound like honesty common sense logic oh thank you very God. much but i do need to tell you there's a woman here from you for the from the other side i believe this is I want to say it's your grandma. I feel like she was a little shorter, uh, medium, like medium. Not, yeah, kind of like what we would have considered a medium built woman. Um, and she wants, a, oh, she wants, I think she's the one who's bringing some of these messages through. <clears throat> she wants to tell you, you deserve so much better, you know, strength and perseverance brings rewards. And when you yeah. are strong and you persevere in that light and that love and you have that thing going on where you can just come correct, you can be authentic and you have integrity and character, God is going to bring the right people in the right circumstances. And anybody who comes back for, and believe me, you asked, did this guy move on? <laughs> several times. He's Willy wonka several chocolate factories. But, <laughs> but they were not Godiva. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go ahead and play with that. I don't want to call out Hershey like it's a bad chocolate. But it's like on every show. You know what I mean? You go ahead. You get that generic yeah. chocolate. You go ahead. You go eat the, you go do that. But the Godiva, oh, baby, I'm sorry. Declined. Declined. Because we know our worth. And once we know the truth, we're not we're not playing with playing right and we're not staying with playing okay. either That's we're fine. moving on because when you know who you are you know you just know that that you will be blessed with it might take a minute before that blessing comes in but you're going to be blessed with that so much better right so uh, your, yes. I believe it's your grandma, um, and she just wants to say. Yes, it is. Okay, yes, thank you. She wants to say that um, with every ounce of your being, you need to just don't even think of this person every, and anymore because even the, it, it sounds so harsh to say it this way, but that thought, you, you know, there are a million thoughts <laughs> Oh my gosh, there are a million thoughts you could have that are better than that. Even like, when am I going to take my next poo is a better thought than this person in, in your world where you are today. <laughs> oh, heaven help us. We are steady going in that direction today. <laughs> Ooh, child, child, child. <laughs> I totally agree. I totally agree. Okay. <laughs> Love, 
Um, don't let somebody who wrecked your past step into your future and disrupt it, even for a moment, even with a thought. You know, keep blocking. You're doing amazing. And don't second guess yourself because um, you are amazing and brilliant. And there is something, so many things that are so much better than that. So you you just you, you did the right thing. Keep doing it, and um, uh, they want you to know they love you and they are watching out for you. And <clears throat> everything they're singing this song. I think it's Bob Marley. Every little thing is gonna be all right. I, and again, folks, do not oh, comment. Yeah. Do not comment, Tony. You cannot sing. I know I can't sing. <laughs> but if but I, <laughs> but if they bring a song through me, I'm gonna do it because that's just part of it. <laughs> all right, of all the gifts I have, and believe me, I have been blessed with a lot of gifts. Okay, <laughs> singing is not one of them. I love what you were singing. <laughs> Yay, see, folks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, beautiful girl. Thank you Thank so you, Tony. much. Until, I love you. I love you too. But now, here's what I'm going to do for you, everybody listening, everybody re listening. Um, we are ready for a moment, and or you can watch the rest of it on the. the